Well, welcome back to another episode. We are up here. Carter's with me today. We got the snowmobile ready. The sled's full of bobcat traps. And uh, we go catch some bobcats. We're going to try to catch some bobcats. Uh, local guy next to us kept it all plowed out for us. So that's awesome of them, or we wouldn't have been able to make it in here. Mm, so get we would have got stuck. So finally, we are out here, and I am very happy because I've been wanting to do this for a while now. It opened up like four or five weeks ago, and I started a new business, and I've been on the road traveling, uh, welding. So I have not had any time to literally set a trap. So I'm way behind, I feel like, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah. We're going to go see what we can find. Hopefully, the bobcats are in here like last year because there was a ton of them and we learned a lot. And now this year, we're ready to put our knowledge from last year to the test for this year. Yeah. So, let's uh, hop on the sled, get to it. All right, well, we just got to our spot and uh, no one's been down our road that we used last year. So, that is awesome. And there's bobber tracks all over. So, we got... One box right there that we're going to run. I got the Dunlap Bobcat Lure and then the Cavins K9 Force inside the box. We just brushed that all in and um, we're going to run down the road and see what else we could find. But there's some more bunch of Bobcat tracks over in the trees there. And then off to the right is where we had our bait pile last year. So... Next time we will come more prepared, obviously, because... Because we want to catch some vodka trucks. Yeah. Well, what else did we forget in the truck? Our feathers. So, we will be back. Um, yeah, we're going to run down the road. I just wanted to show you guys what I was using, in case it does work, or in case you are interested. So, we just threw that back in there. We got our coyote pee, our wolf pee. We're not setting any wolf traps today, unless we caught some wolf sign. Then we'd go back to the house and get some wolf traps. So but we today go we're just going for bobbers. Side. Yeah, we're just going for bobbers. So, all right, we're gonna get to it. All right, we came down the road. We got some bobber tracks crossing here. More tracks in the road. Yeah. This is about where we turned around last year, and uh, here we are with our got our ribbons. Our trail, Carter shoveled out a really nice trail while the bobcat, we got a foothold with those branches kind of detouring it in, as you can see there. And then we got our box trap up there tucked into the tree there, so. That we just built. Last year, we had the cat almost go into the box right here, so that's why I put a foothold set right in the middle of the trail. I had to use some of the chain from my other trap, so now I'm short on my other traps uh, to reach the tree on that one because we have like three, four feet of snow up here. So, anyways. And we got another trap to reset in our trap. Yeah, in two days I'll have more chain. And our next trip up, we're, we're a ways from town, so on my next trip up, I will bring more chain for the foothold. <laughs> Maybe we can get a roadkill deer to put up here in the area, so then at least that'll kind of hold the bobcats in, in the area. But looks like they're doing really well here anyway, so glad to see them back in here. Um, yeah. I can't wait to First get that First day, not that bad. So we at least we found bobcat tracks. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for, and and we did that, and we got some traps in the in the ground. So. And Pile. Gives us something to uh, lose some more sleep over, and um, hopefully we have some luck. But we'll have we'll be way more prepared yeah. on our next outing. I know that. So yeah. we just got to break the ice. So all right, we're gonna hop on the sled, get back to the truck, load up, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Just a quick little update. Please subscribe, uh, hit the like and follow, so you guys get notified of the first trap that we get yeah um, we said two i haven't traps. been out for wolves but um if i get if i get a text or a call or a and message about where some wolves are located trap. i will go check out the area and if we catch some tra tracks in here again like we did last year 
and we'll be setting some more wolf traps out but uh yeah kind of behind the eight ball but hey we're here so and we're having fun right we, we didn't set one trap we set up two traps yeah we got two traps we'll have more traps in a couple days so yeah. and we'll probably bring brother with us because he was jealous yeah, yeah. he had a basketball <laughs> camp with us so uh that's why you don't see the other one so me and carter came and got her done today huh yeah yep all right thank you have a good day